Carl, you wanted to chime in about uh, this crazy weekend here in, in New York City. No, I was just thinking, you know, for the older people in the room, you go back to Che Torres and Juan Laporte and Carlos Ortiz, to Trinidad and to Cotto, and now, you know, this whole effort for Xander is because of our absolute belief that his shoulders can carry an island and a whole community and a whole Puerto Rican, you know, wherever they live and everything like that. We wouldn't be doing that unless we didn't have the faith in Xander uh, to not only win Saturday, to, but to go upstairs one day. Um, if the Rangers and Knicks, you know, can continue to win, it's going to be tough getting the building because it's a playoff hold, which they probably will, but for now we'll be downstairs. But the goal is to, to sell upstairs against uh, worthy opponents and uh, guys in his weight class, obviously, and uh, we know, you know, we have that mapped out. But, you know, like the playoffs, you lose, you go home. So it's all about Saturday night for Zane. So on that note, Zander, I want to come back to you. We'll end on this. You know, obviously you're on the cusp of, of massive what could be next, right? Or what ifs. How do you handle that pressure and maintain a focus and balance in life? Man, I feel like I'm one of the best 154 pounders in the division. Um, there's no pressure. I've been working hard since I'm five years old to be in this position. I will continue to work hard to maintain this position and to get better and to get bigger fights. Hopefully, like Carl said, in the future, I could be in the in the main room, selling out the main room against a worthy fighter. And um, we'll continue to follow our path, become a world champions in the future, and keep bringing glory to Puerto Rico. Amazing. We're going to leave it right there.